Hi, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good and uh, if you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. Recently I'm giving uh, end user or key user, key user mainly, the key user trainings in different countries. So we always use the board to explain certain topics. I felt like, uh, okay, let's make one video by using the board, which is a little different from our regular videos. And also I want to cover uh, which can be explained well with the board, the different kind of uh, standard procurement. For example, let's take an example of uh, direct procurement with materials. So what are the different kind of cases and when the business can use those kind of cases we are going to discuss now. Let's take it. Stock procurement. Why I'm using stock? Here, uh, mandatory. Once you have done the goods received, stock will come to warehouse and um, goods received is mandatory. So let's take this scenario and what are the different possibilities and uh, what are the companies will follow that we can see today. The first we can say MRP run so the business can run MRP daily or weekly or monthly based on the requirement when the MRP run is happening system will generate the requirements for example based on the requirements system will generate uh, requisitions let's take an example of we are talking about the stock procurement external procurement we are talking so let's take it it's a PR the materials are designed with external procurement. If it is internal, then it will be planned order. That concept is different. So we are talking about the external procurement. So once MRP run happens, system will create purchase requisition PR. I'm using the short terms. Uh, MRP means material requirement planning and uh, system will generate the PR. Then the PR will be converted to RFQ. First, I'm giving an example of uh, case one where all kind of purchasing documents we will utilize it. So this is kind of a one kind of a case. Purchase requisition will be created based on the required quantity. Then RFQ will be created um, for different vendors and the quotation comparison. So RFQ, then finalizing the vendor. So the entire quotation process, you can request for quotation, then quotations will be sent to the vendor and the vendor uh, will be finalized based on the price and other parameters, delivery date, all those details. Once the vendor is finalized, they can create the contract. So the contract will be created uh, one year or like that based on the value or quantity, a contract can be created with the vendor. Then the main document, PO. Purchase order will be created with reference to contract. Once the PO is created based on your output type, either you can send a PO PDF as an email to vendor or if you are using any EDI, then an outbound uh, IDOC will be sent to the vendor with the information of the PO, quantity, delivery date, whatever information we will send to vendor with EDI or a PDF copy will be sent automatically or else take a printout and send physically or else download the PDF and send as an email. There are different kind of approaches will be followed by different companies. Then when the goods are received, I will directly mention about goods received. Let's talk not about um, inbound delivery. If you are using inbound delivery, there will be one inbound delivery will be there. Then the goods received. But finally, the goods received is the process. So let's focus on the goods received. Then invoice receipt. Finally, payment. The typical stock procurement will start with uh, MRP run and the PR will be automatically created. PR will be converted to RFQ. RFQ will be converted to contract and the, that contract will be used to create the purchase order so that the price, all the information will come from the contract. And uh, once the materials are received, goods receipt will be posted, then uh, invoice receipt will be along with the goods a vendor will send you the invoice copy by seeing invoice copy invoice receipt will be posted by the finance then the payment will be done this is the end of the process 
so payment will be the step so same kind of a few companies same stock procurement okay they can they don't use mrp run but they directly create the purchase requisition okay they directly create the purchase requisition this is this is not wrong so i'm telling you the another possibility directly create the purchase requisition and they convert it to rfq then contract po gr ir and payment so this is another kind of uh, scenario where mrp is not used but uh, they use the purchase requisition manually creation the same way and few companies can follow there is no mrp they don't use pr but they can create rfq directly so rfq then contract po gr ir and payment so slowly you are able to understand that what are the mandatory and what are the optional in a stock procurement okay there now case 4 okay we'll see the case 4 no mrp run no pr no rfq but they have already know that this vendor is providing the good materials or good uh, delivery everything for the other materials so they directly can create a contract so they start the process with contract po gr ir and payment so they directly create a contract uh with the vendor uh, quantity or uh, value contract and they can proceed it this is another kind of scenario now we are going for a fifth type of procurement all are for stock procurement only no mrp run no pr no rfq no contract they directly create the po and gr ir and payment so for a stock po gr ir and payment are mandatory and the remaining are optional if you use mrp like proper planning then purchase requisition will be automatically created someone doesn't have to check the stock levels and all and if you have a purchase requisition rfq can be created based on the required quantity and if you don't have a pr rfq you have to create based on uh, how much quantity required or uh, what is the value everything and if it is a contract if you have a contract the benefit is you can get the price automatically and if there are little fluctuations in the market still the vendor can provide you for the same price which was agreed uh, one year back or six months back if you don't have any document you can directly create a po gr and ir and payment so at high level what you can understand is if you want to procure valuated stock procurement means you are uh, buying the materials and uh, then po gr ir and payment are mandatory you cannot skip it finally sixth scenario i want to tell you the vendor is giving free goods you are getting into stock but vendor is giving you for free okay no let's remove this iphone okay so no rfq no contract but you will create the po with free indicator in purchase order item level if you go to the right hand side dragging there is a indicator called free indicator you have to create with free indicator then goods received once you activate the free indicator the net price will become blank 
and the conditions tab will be disappear invoice tab will be the invoice indicator invoice receipt checkbox will be unchecked automatically so po and gr no ir no payment so total we have seen uh, six kind of scenarios the same stock procurement so business can proceed with the six kind of a processes let us take it the first case we have taken like um, mrp run based on the requirement system will create the pr rfq contract po gr ir payment and um, second case they don't use mrp run directly create a pr any department can create the purchase requisition admin or maintenance anyone then rfq and contract they can use for the rfq for the price uh, with the different vendors and in case of contract uh, they have they can fix the specific price for a certain duration the po gr and ir you can follow them. the only for free goods you can see here only po and gr is enough no need to do invoice receipt and payment so this is the way how we can do it and just for our uh, understanding i will give the transaction codes the people who are uh, interested in the transaction codes let's see the transaction codes for each one mrp run let's use uh, md01 pr actually automatically created so no need transaction codes for pr actually but anyway we are using pr in different places so let let us give the transaction code me 51n okay so maybe if you are getting confused then i will mention here me 51n rfq me 41 contract me 31k po me 21n or you can convert with uh, me 59n also you can do that Migo, Miro, and payment they can use F-53 or uh, different things, you can use it. So this is the way how a uh, procuring of uh, stock materials in different ways, we have learned in the six different ways. Okay, a few companies may use this scheduling agreement also. Okay, I hope this video has helped you to understand the different ways how to create and in which business cases, what is the benefit. And if you want to procure a material, finally what you understand is, IR can be optional. IR is not required in case of free goods, IR and payment. And if they don't use any MRP planning, MRP run is not required. If they don't want to have any requirement directly, they can get PO. But when you want to procure a material with stock, Finally, what we can understand is PO and GR are mandatory. Without that, you cannot procure it. Remaining all are uh, optional. In case of free goods, IR and payment 100% is not required. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please share with your circle to help more members. Based on your comments, I will definitely plan these kind of more videos. Thank you.